Okay, so that's the story of how Joseph is enslaved and how he is redeemed. Essentially, looking at that in the larger picture of the Magnificat, how the、uh, prideful are brought low and then the lowly are exalted. That's really what we see in Joseph's life. Now, before we conclude this lesson, I want to talk a bit about typology. Now, there's a ton of typology、uh, with Joseph being a type of Jesus and、uh, Joseph, Jesus's father. We're going to look at all of that at the end of next lesson. But right now, I want to bring your attention to Roman numeral six in the notes and see how Joseph's a type of the prophet Daniel, which is really, really exciting to see. So, the thirty thousand foot view of Daniel. We'll, we'll do Bible study on Daniel another time. But the prophet Daniel, he himself is hauled off into exile by Nebuchadnezzar. So King Nebuchadnezzar of the Babylonians are besieging Jerusalem, and in the first wave in the year 605, Daniel is taken off into exile, and he now lives in Babylon. All right, and God appears to him in dreams and visions. But one of the things that's so interesting is that Nebuchadnezzar has these dreams that freak him out, and、uh, no one can interpret them. In fact, Nebuchadnezzar says, "You got to tell me the dream, and then in the interpretation." And of course, no one can do that. But then Daniel very humbly says, "Well, God can do this," and he interprets the dream for Nebuchadnezzar and is promoted、uh, within the、uh, king's kingdom. All right, the the guard he becomes a high official. So that whole story—that's a thirty thousand foot view <laughs> overview of what Daniel's all about. But if you compare that story side by side. With Joseph's story, you see that Joseph is a foreshadowing of Daniel, and so I've got twelve points of typology for you about this. But the twelfth point explains why there's such amazing parallels between the two figures, and it has to do with the Exodus. So let's look at this. I'm just going to follow the notes here. You have them in front of you.、Uh, number one, both Daniel, as well as、uh, Joseph, of course, Daniel and Joseph were forcibly taken from their homes when they were young, and I have all the references here in the notes as well. We can't go through all of them because our lecture is concluded, but you can you can reference all of this on your own time. So, number one, both of them are forcibly taken from their homes when they're young. Number two, both of them interact and have dealings with the captain of the king's guard. Number three, both are said to be very handsome, very good looking, and、uh, very handsome in appearance. Number four, both of their kings, so that would be Pharaoh and Nebuchadnezzar, respectively, have a pair of very strange dreams about the future that leave them very, very troubled and very perplexed and worried. Number five, all of their kings, like wise men and magicians. Uh, they can't interpret it. They have no idea what's going on, so they're completely useless. Okay, number six. Both of these kings then turn to a Hebrew who is enslaved and exiled from the Promised Land. All right, Daniel and、uh, Joseph here in our story. Number seven. Both of these men interpret the dreams correctly by giving honor and glory and credit to God alone. Number eight. Both of them are said to be very wise because of you know God is with them. Number nine. Uh, both serve in the royal court, and then ten kind of actually kind of related to each other. But both are promoted to very high positions within the kingdom. As we saw,、uh, Joseph is the al chabait; he is the overseer of the entire kingdom. We looked at all of that. Daniel is also promoted. Number eleven, both are given new names. So、uh, Joseph receives a new Egyptian name, and Daniel receives a、uh, Babylonian name. So both are renamed and honored by that renaming. And then number twelve, and here this is going to wrap everything together. Both of them lived in exile from the Promised Land before the Exodus event occurs, respectively. So, for Joseph, as we well know, it's because of Joseph that all of Israel,、uh, Israel and his sons and the whole family, seventy persons, go down into Egypt. We'll look at this in the next lesson. But then time goes on. You know, four、uh, hundred years they're enslaved, and all this stuff happens. So, Joseph. Precedes the Exodus, where God protects His people and delivers them. The same similar type of thing happens with Daniel, because Israel was so like hard-hearted and so wicked and so sinful. God sent them into exile. He told them through the prophets this was going to happen, and sure enough, it did. So Israel's exile from the land is basically a new Exodus event, because God will bring back Israel, specifically Judah, and then later all the tribes of Israel through Jesus Christ. But Judah will return, leave Babylon, come back to the Promised Land, and that is always seen in the image of a new Exodus, right? So Daniel precedes a new Exodus event as well, but it's a new Exodus from exile. And both of these men foreshadow Jesus Christ, who brings about the true Exodus. Right?、Uh, talks about this.、Uh, Luke.
Luke talks about this in the uh, Transfiguration. They're talking about his exodus. Moses, Elijah, and Jesus are talking about his exodus. So Jesus brings us back from the exile that we've experienced because of sin, uh, conquer Satan, sin, and death, and we come back to God. So it's so interesting. Now, if you keep this in mind, next week when we come back, we'll see how Joseph is a type of Jesus, and we'll do another dozen different parallels as well. So I love the typology. It's really exciting to see all the points and they parallel, right? You can just look at, look at the references I provided for you in your notes. They parallel so beautifully here. Joseph's a type of Daniel. They both precede a massive Exodus event. And then of course, both of them together point forward to Jesus Christ. So that's where we're gonna stop and then we're gonna meet for the next lesson entitled Joseph the Savior. Hi, I'm Dr. Nick. Thank you so much for watching this clip. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to access the entire lesson and the entire course, come visit us over at scriptureandtradition.com and join our community of students. You'll be able to access all of my courses in the audio library. Plus, you'll be able to access my live courses whenever I teach a new topic on scripture or the Catholic faith. God bless you.